I'm meteorologist Mark Van Cuso, and on this day in weather history, November 11th, 1940, the Armistice Day blizzard hit the Midwest region of the U.S. An intense low pressure system tracked from the southern plains northeastward into Wisconsin, pulling gulf moisture up from the south and pulling down a cold Arctic air mass from the north. Rain, then sleet, then snow began to fall. The intense early season Panhandle Hook winter storm cut a 1,000 mile wide path through the middle of the country from Kansas to Michigan. Brought up to 27 inches of snow, accompanied by 80 mile per hour winds. In Watkins, Minnesota, two trains collided in the blinding snow. 1.5 million turkeys intended for Thanksgiving dinner across Minnesota perished from cold exposure. On Lake Michigan, dozens of sailors died on small boats and three cargo freighters. Along the Mississippi River, hundreds of duck hunters were caught in the storm. Due to a poorly predicted forecast, they were ill-equipped for the conditions. Many took shelter on the small islands on the river. But the 50 mile per hour winds and five foot waves overcame their encampments. Dozens froze to death in the single digit temperatures that night. It caused 154 fatalities and $2.2 million in damage at the time. I'm Mark Mancuso.